We're going to use what we just learned about change of base to help us solve exponential equations. In problem 7, we're asked to solve 3 to the x equals 25 for x and round to three decimal places. There are a series of steps that you're going to need to follow for these problems, and I've listed them in the table here. I'm going to go through each one as it pertains to this problem. So the first step is to isolate the exponential part of the equation, meaning, in this case, that the 3 to the x should be by itself. Well, that part is already done. 3 to the x is by itself. So we're given the exponential part already isolated. Step 2 is to change the equation to logarithmic form. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to reverse the exponential form that I have, and I'm going to write the equation as log base 3 of 25 equals x. The exponential form here is 3 to the x equals 25, which is what we started with. Step 3 is to isolate the variable. The variable is x. x is already by itself in this equation. That part is done. We're going to move on then to step 4. Step 4 is to identify the final result in exact form. So let's do that first because we've actually already figured out that part even though it might not look like it. The exact form is log base 3 of 25. If I want to find the rounded form, I'm going to need to use change of base. So if I round this, I need to compute with change of base log 25 divided by log 3 is approximately 2.930 rounded to three decimal places. Now to check these, I'm going to use my calculator and the intersect method and see if we can come up with that 2.930. So let's start with y1, and y1 is going to be 3 to the x. So it's going to be the left-hand side of my equation. y2 is going to be the right-hand side, which is 25. Now for the window on this one, I'd like to use negative 5 for x min, and 5 for x max. For y min, I'd like to use 0. And for y max, I'd like to use 30. And you'll see why I chose these values in just a minute. If you need to see what those are, you can see them here on the right-hand side in the box. Now, I'm going to press graph just to be sure that my graph is going to display properly. So here's the 3 to the x. Here's the 25. If I want my intersection, I need to access second calc number 5, and that should ask me a series of questions. First curve, second curve, yes, guess, kind of ignore this part, and go on to my intersection, which is indeed 2.9 excuse me, 2.929947, which rounds to 2.930. So if you're showing this on your work, you need to sketch this graph and label, plot and label the intersection in the space that you have here. So we have solved the equation 3 to the x equals 25. 2.930 is the result. You can also check by just plugging in the 2.930 back into the original equation.